This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Oh she I I took the wrong turn. Wait, we're supposed to be over there. What the uh, uh, wait, 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 how do I get there? Uh we we have no range left. Shit man! Can I get over here? Seems to be a dead end. What wait 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 wait. Uh, I'm lost! I'm lost! Wait. Yo, what's up? We are now at Speculant, Speculant, Speculant Ionity. And behind me here, see Toyota BZ4X. It now has the new update from May. So I'm going to do a range test and I'm going to, very important, uh, measure the battery capacity from 100% down to zero. So, um, yeah. We have some balloon tires here, by the way. 60 profile tires. <laughs> Humongous, but okay. So I'm not charging up. A long story, why, why am I here, not the, at the regular Dahl? Uh, well, we are further down there. We are on a trip uh, with wifey and uh, the baby. And I'm going to test this as ni at night now. So, wow, what the heck? Why is the display kaput? Someone must have broken it. Okay, but we're charging up now. Look at this. Even at 67%, we're taking 60 kilowatt. Yeah, this is when it's not throttle. <laughs> so, yeah, let me go inside and show you the plan. Wait, what the heck happened here? It stopped. Okay, I had to fire up the thing and then go into my room mode. Come on. Yes, there. Okay. So, yeah, what did they change with the new update? Um, this one. We now see still the charge in percentage in the instrument cluster. Very nice. Uh, they have opened up more of the capacity. So they have actually reduced the bottom buffer. It was a humongous bottom buffer. So uh, we'll measure how many extra kilowatt hour we have. And also uh, the consumption number that you see here, for example. Previously, it counted with charging loss. So it was roughly 10% higher. Now it shows you what it should be, you know, the correct consumption, so um, which is lower. So we need to also measure that one and figure out how big is the battery now and what kind of range do we get. And also right now it's 15 degrees Celsius outside, or you can see it here also. So that should give us uh, okay uh, consumption, right? Yeah, so we will see. Uh, what else was it? Yeah, okay, another thing. We will uh, explore it, this more in uh, 1000 kilometer challenge is that before, after two charging sessions, they count kilowatt hours supposedly, uh, it will throttle on the charging speed a lot. It will go dog slow. Now it takes 3.8 sessions before it throttles. So that is a big improvement. So, but more about that in the 1000 kilometer challenge. Now we just have to wait 40 minutes until we are finished. And the plan, if we go here, wait, what the heck? It forgot about it. I had it, I had it prepared. Okay, um, it should be in history. Recent, yeah, this one. No, 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 no. Wait. It seems like it didn't. The no, no, no. No, it, huh? it's not in the history. That's weird because I did navigate to it. It's Jungschiele here. Oh no, no, I didn't press OK. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, uh, I want to go there. That, I didn't press go. Yeah, that's why. So, but you see that. That's 25 kilometers away. So we will drive a loop there and back again and measure the consumption. We do the 90 test and 120 test. And this is a long story, but then we have to also drive the battery until it's almost down to zero, right? And I will actually drive towards Oslo because we are now on a trip uh, near, near Kungalv. Uh, wifey and the baby is over there at the Airbnb. But we, we got, forgot some important things, not just my things, but also wifey got, forgot some things. So you might as well drive to Oslo to retrieve, retrieve those items while we are also measuring the battery capacity. Yeah, why not? Okay, how much do we have left now? 40 minutes left. Oh, okay. All right, the car is finally done charging. Um, first, I charged over there at Ionity to, uh, to 99% and then it stopped. And I actually had to plug in here on AC and charge for another 40 minutes. Well, it's still counting, but yeah. 
and now it is 100 percent that we can start the testing so it seems like the car has been programmed to finish fairly fast at the dc fast charger at only 99 percent but okay let's go all right we're on the move and the temperature outside is still 15 degrees celsius so that's good so i have the cruiser 93 now i'm gonna do the 90 test first all the way to long chill and back again so um yeah uh when i tested last time it was colder and oh i think the mate i'll turn off the auto lights there's a kind of matrix light but i get flashed all the time but yeah it was higher a lot higher consumption during winter but it was also incorrect consumption since it showed 10 percent higher so it'll be interesting to see the difference anyway so yeah so far uh, well it's also kind of weird because the distance is shown here and time but then consumption is shown here or you can switch it around and you can show consumption but you can't show all the stuff together so that's a bit weird yeah uh, i can switch over to for example this one here and you see the consumption there which is the same as the consumption there so well it's uh, kind of weird uh, why you can't have it in the same screen <laughs> whatever we are now at the Jungschiele. we just turn around and so far consumption is 178 oh looking good uh, last time we tested it was over 200 what are we that was uh, of course 10 percent too high but okay i guess maybe the higher temperature here helps but uh yeah i guess we have to wait until we are back at the starting point so that is uh, at specular uh 25 kilometers from here so uh almost no yeah i checked also yeah there was no wind here so i guess that's good also but yeah maybe i didn't mention this before but the auto steer in the toyota here is super smooth i mean for for an asian car yeah because chinese cars zig 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 uh korean car zig zag zig zag okay maybe not as bad as uh, uh the chinese cars but the auto steer is rock solid i mean the road is nice right so there's no need to zigzag road markers are fine and also when it comes to power output wait 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 wait. what do i see here about power output i was about to say it's super smooth but uh is it yeah yeah i, I don't feel anything okay. you're gonna see here more accurately the power here you see that it doesn't do any weird fluctuations a little bit of variation of course because of uh, road this is not 100 percent smooth but this is this is superb man just superb after testing so many chinese cars lately so many neos <laughs> come here and it's heaven we are back at ionity and wow 173 watt per kilometer not too shabby i mean there are sedans out there with all-wheel drive that consumes more than this crossover all right the result from that 120 test 240 watt per kilometer not too bad yeah all right uh now we need to empty out the battery okay so now we're not too strict about how fast we have to drive so uh yeah i just cruise 120 on the speed or now which is around 116 gps speed so uh, we have uh, 63 percent battery left uh i will most likely not be able to reach ion de rig but we'll just stop anywhere in norway there's plenty of high power chargers there so um yeah i could go slower but then the test will take longer so uh, yeah this is good enough cruising speed we are back in norway now and uh, we have five percent battery left so we've been driving for a while and then the consumption here by the way is the last segment so the first segment was the 90 test i wrote down the distance everything second segment was the 120 test and this one is the last one and then i just calculated how much energy each segment uh, consisted of and we can find out the, the battery capacity so five percent yeah uh, i could not make it to uh what was it again rig yeah we will stop at armvin it's right around Salzburg. in uh, well it says 16 kilometers left there and then 21 there so yeah i think we should be down to maybe one percent when we roll over to the charger so um yeah almost done with this test whoa, whoa, whoa what the heck uh towards the end the presenter dropped really fast suddenly we're down to two percent 11 10, 10 kilometers range left and we're 8.6 kilometers away oh 
okay you just have to know that this is what happens with this car is that in the beginning it seems like you have okay range but then uh, towards the end the the range and the presenter drops faster and faster and you you will be caught with your pants down <laughs> oh shit i have to slow down here five kilometers one percent left and we are 5.5 kilometers away holy crap the percent goes so fast towards the end now uh Okay, uh, if I can just roll uh, roll up to the charger with 0%, then we are happy, right? <laughs> oh, she! I, I took the wrong turn. Wait, we're supposed to be over there. What the... Uh, wait, 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 how did I get there? Uh, we, we have no range left. Shit, man. Can I get over here? Seems to be a dead end. What? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm lost. I'm lost. Wait. Oh, shit. I made it here. <gasps> oh, hallelujah. I'm going to plug it in. Wait. Uh, okay, on that side. All right, we're charging. Getting 85 kilowatt. Ooh, not more. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, we're on the move again. I topped up just enough to get over to Ionity because over there we have way cheaper charging than uh, Soko K. So, especially if you charge a lot like I do, then Ionity with some uh, subscription deal is, yeah, by far the cheapest. We are now at Ionity Rigga and look here. We have trash bins, we have cleaning for uh, equipment for the window. So I just ABC the window. And we are putting in premium electricity. Okay, whatever. Don't mind the rattling. It's just tritium chargers. But look at this. <laughs> E-tron go home. We're taking 147 kilowatts. I worked out that today. Well, I, ever since I picked up the car now, I've uh, spent around 1.62, yeah, somewhere between 1.5 to 2. Now maybe below two cycles. So I still have some, some to, left to go before it starts throttling. But okay, anyway, let's wrap up the range test and the battery capacity test thingy. But yeah, uh, based on the test now, I figured out that we have 57.7 kilowatt hour. And then last time I tested it, it was rare result. Okay, it was 60.8 kilowatt hour, but we had to deduct 10% from that, and that becomes only 55.3. So there seems to be a 2.4 kilowatt hour more bottom buffer unlocked. Yeah, based on my test now. And then when it comes to range, yes, it has been improved. So, uh, but okay, still not nowhere near the claim range that Toyota has. How much was it again? Over 500 or something? Um, okay, so uh, I guess the, um, the, the, I mean, the, the consumption is okay-ish for this kind of car. It's not uh, as good as Tesla or the Korean cars, but it's not as bad as some of the other cars I've seen. And also, okay, when it was 10% higher, that was quite bad. But um, I feel like maybe the battery capacity is a little bit low. Uh, so 57, I mean, it's supposed to be 71.4, wasn't it? Where's the rest? Uh, it's still loaded in the buffer uh, at the bottom. Uh, top doesn't have that much, I feel like. So, yeah, but I guess this is 57.7. It's still not that much compared to, for example, Korean cars. They have 65 kilowatt hour net capacity. Tesla, they have roughly 74. 74 to 76 kilowatt hour so yeah to get more range you can probably improve the efficiency slightly if it's possible or just have a bigger battery or more capacity available i guess but uh, the car overall i mean it's better now and like i mentioned yeah it takes a lot more before it starts throttling so i'm gonna find out more about that in 1000 kilometer challenge so at least toyota they managed to fix whatever was possible to fix with a software update so yeah i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later